how to pray God's heart into a situation. So praying into a situation involves two things. Number one is repentance. So you need to take time and ask God to show you if there's anything in your heart and in your mind that is not of him. Ask God to give you wisdom and that your words are words of his and the Holy Spirit and no other. Number two, it's understanding who Jesus is or understanding Jesus's purpose while he was here on earth. That means studying his leadership. Um, one of the things you can start to study um, with is the Sermon on the Mount. That is one of the most beautiful sermons ever written. It shows you where God's heart is and it shows you where he wants us to lead from. Another example is to pray our life through the fruits of the Spirit. We need to study them, we need to practice them, because when you are living a life using the fruits of the Spirit, then I fully believe when we pray into a situation, we're gonna be praying God's words. We're gonna be praying God's heart into that situation. When we take time quietly, like Jesus did, Jesus left his disciples on many occasions to go to a quiet place and pray. And I, I fully believe to pray into a situation, to pray for somebody, we need ourselves to pray not only persistently, but we need to take time for ourselves to be quiet, to be with God. And when we are with God, then I do believe that he gives us words. And I do believe that we can then pray for someone. And those words, when we pray for someone, will be that of the Holy Spirit. When you pray for somebody, you need to start on you need to start on the level of where Jesus did. Jesus' level was love and nothing more. It was all from love. He died for you, he loves you, he wants nothing more but then to love you. So when we pray for someone, that's the level we start from. We start from a we start from a place of mercy. We start from a place of love. Because God is love. There's no judgmental words in prayer. There is no condemnation in prayer. There is no criticism in prayer. Because I can't stress this enough. God is of love. God is of um, kindness. God is of joy. God is there to help that situation align to where God wants it to be. We are warriors, we are for God, so why would we not pray for that? Why would we not pray for victory? Why would we not pray for love over that situation? So that is my, that is my answer to how I pray into a situation. Um, hopefully, always with God's heart and mind.